Rigging a squid for swordfish is all about presenting it naturally. And the easiest way that there is to go ahead and to rig a squid is in this following method. Take a 9-0 hook that has been already double crimped using an offshore to a 200 pound or 250 pound leader. First thing you do is take that hook and you're going to place it through the head of the squid so that it pops completely out the other side. Just like that. Then what you do is take the end of the leader and you slowly place it up and through the mantle. You open up the mantle of the squid and you slide the, slide the end through. I'm working it back. Sometimes it helps if you go ahead and cut just a small piece off the tip of the mantle so that the monofilament has a place to go. There we are. Okay. Once the head is nice and the leader is nice and straight inside the mantle, the second thing we need to do is we need to sew the head of the squid to the mantle. The last thing that a swordfish needs to see is the head of a squid dangling below when that doesn't look any nat doesn't look very natural. Take a mortician's needle, a little bit of rigging floss, about a two foot piece and two and a half feet and you'll double it over on itself so that it is a loop. Tie a knot at the very base of it. You take your squid head and push it slightly inside the mantle. And then take your mortician's needle and push through the mantle and then through the head push it out the other side so that it comes through the mantle once again and turn it around come back through the opposite side making sure to go through the mantle on both passes and then we're going to turn that around one more time pull nice and tight there we go and then we'll turn around and do it one last time just to secure it and push it through the head yet again and then again bring it right back around and push it back through that mantle. I'm going to purposely leave a little extra on that next pass through so I can tie a few half hitches to it, wrap it around a few times and tie a knot so that my, my squid head, there it goes, is now very secure to the mantle so it doesn't slide back. I'll snip that off. Now the second most important piece in rigging a squid is to make sure that the mantle doesn't slide down. We've all had rubber worms and, and finesse fish slide down on the hook. So it's important that this mantle stay f flat and stay natural looking instead of sliding down and, and causing something to look very unnatural like that. And the easiest way to do that is to take a crimp, a single sleeve crimp, and place it on your leader and slide it all the way down to about an inch above the point in the mantle and there's that single crimp right there. I'm going to push it to about an inch. I'm going to take my crimpers and I'm going to just crimp one side of it. I want to basically leave the opposite side kind of open. That's going to serve as my attachment point for my rigging floss. Okay. You now need to tie about two feet of new rigging floss onto your mortician's needle. Again, doubling it over and tying it at the very end. And then you're ready to sew the mantle so that it's stable. Take your mortician's needle and place it once through the mantle, right out the other side. And then turn it around and come right back through from the opposite side. And then again, one last time, right through and from We'll come right back one more time. I'm basically putting a series of attachment points so that no single attachment point has all the weight of the squid. Once I do that, I'm going to take my rigging floss, I'm going to bring it up to my leader, and I'm going to actually wrap it in a few series of half hitches above the crimp. Just like that. I want to set the half hitches above the crimp because the crimp is going to act as a stopper and it's going to be the floss that prevents the squid from sliding down. And once I've got two half hitches above that crimp I now can take the rest of my rigging floss and I can actually sew the opposite side of this squid. So I sewed here already, I'm going to sew here now. I'll push it through once. Make sure you don't over tighten there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and come back the opposite way. And then I'm going to leave this loose and I'm going to pass it through one last time. Come back through just like that. And then I'm going to use that loop to tie. I'm going to come around through it once 
and then twice and then I'm going to give a good nice strong pull on the rigging floss holding the squid down and then I can cut a rigging floss. What that makes is a, a two attachment points with that crimp makes two attachment points with that crimp holding a, the squid up. What that ultimately does is create a very natural looking swordfish bait.